What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy Behind Radio Shout in. Stepping in the building, I got a friend and a family member to the show, Curtis Snow off in this thing. What's good with it, Kurt? Hey, man. Happy New Year, baby. We made it. Hey, man. Yeah, I'm man. feeling good, feeling great. But you done brought somebody off in this thing with you, man. Oh, uh, man. You know, I very seldom, you know, I travel alone. That's right. You know, but when I catch somebody, you know, off in that world and off in, in between my journey, uh -huh. you know, for real about business. Come on, you know now. I, mean? I put them to that test. Uh -huh. I let them know, man, it's work come before anything in this business. If come you try on. Get in, you got to have more work than, God damn it, anything. Facts. The man, let me know, man. He was for real, man. Came with the work. Then we linked up, did some work together. The uh -huh. chemistry was like, uh, uh, snurt. What up, though, man? What's up, B? I'm here. Hey, talk to me, man. How did you link up with this wild man right here by the name oh. of Curtis Snow? Oh, man, this is. Okay, this story to tell, like, talk to me. He's a deep with it, but, uh, you know, he wasn't one that he influenced me to, like, I look at all his movies, so I'm a fan of him. So I said, I'm going to try that rap stuff so one time. So I would, I would never rap him. You feel yeah. me? So I'm going to say, I'm going to try it one time. So I got locked up and said, I'm going to try it. I go in there. I got fired with the rapping. So when I got fired with the rapping, it was like, I come out, start rapping for real, for real. Then the first person saw me. Curtis Snow, so I'm like, man, this is real. Like, that's crazy. The guy who, the guy who, I'm like, looking up to, like, looking at all his movies and stuff like that, like, be well when you come to the bluff, you know what I'm saying? Snowing and bluffing all this. That's right. Saw me. The legend. Yeah. Snurt, when it comes to your music, though, man, I mean, what are you talking about in this thing, boss? Uh, I, just, I just keep it real. I keep it a brick, you know what I'm saying? I, I try to keep it 1,000, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I try to keep it a million, a million percent. Like, everything I rap about in my music, it come from my heart and my soul. And, like, I don't tell no lies in my music so, because it, it's easy to tell a lie and it comes in your life because social media can't wait to do that to you. Come on now. And I just keep it so real, so solid, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's why I came up with the concept, keep it a brick. Like, everything I'm saying, I kept it a brick the whole time. When it comes to this music right now, man, what are we working on? Any projects, singles, what's happening with it? Uh, singles, uh, the one that, that made me go viral was the one that uh, it called Better Off. Ooh. I, always made it, I made a song called I'm Better Off, just standing in my place and stand in my lane. Yeah. So all the bulls jump they going on. Come on now. Yeah, so that took me viral. <laughs> you now he knows me, you feel me? So, yeah. But I had a song with his name in it before I met him. What? People. Before I met him, I already had a song. It called My Diamond Be Dancing Like Mike. Ooh. So I was like, get cursed no him, man. Some kind of way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's crazy. So I kind of talked to existence through the, through the uh, universe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now I'm really believing in what people say, like, the, the, the universe like, got, like, you carry yourself through that universe. You talk That's right. to, you speak to existence. So That's like, right. Yeah, that's real right there because I had a name inside the song for I met him so I really did meet him when he really did come on to me. That was it. Kurt. Out of here. Having somebody like Schnurt. And saying I'm about to get it back into this music because see you had been known to spit a few bars your damn self, yeah. sir. So I mean, what was it about Schnurk and his swag that made you say, you know what? Let me come through on the management side of it. Yeah, like he used to tell me about, you know, certain situations, you know, before he ever met me with niggas with contracts and what they were talking about. Yeah. Once it hit my mind, I'm like, okay, these niggas know what Snurk working with. Mm -hmm. They already know it, ain't no question. Yeah. Boom. First time they heard him rap, whoever they it was, whatever, they knew. Yeah. So now it's, hey, uh, what, what we gonna do? A lot of niggas got them bad intentions off the rip. Yeah. See what I'm saying? My boy got passion for the shit. Yeah. They don't give a shit about that, <laughs> but they want him to have passion for the shit. So he, they can get more and more and more and more of my dude. Yeah. And got them at less and less and less and less, he getting paid. I'm oh like, hell, hell no, this is a friend before anything. You That's know what right. I'm so it's like, hey, and you know, when it comes to the business side of this shit, man, come on, man. We done seen some of the best friends who ever fall out yeah. about this shit, about, you know, some bullshit. And it could be something he don't even know that's going on, but these folk do. Yeah. And got them, it's a deal right up under his nose. Well, got them, it's real money getting transacted because of him. Yeah. But they make it look like, oh, no, well, you know, we made a move. And it's just, but you in it, though. But this is what you got to do. Yeah. Fuck no, I can never let my boy go through that ever again. Come on. You know what I mean? So, you know, here we go. Schnurt, get into this like, game, though, man. You know, this rap game has become very dangerous in the I'm last few years. In real life. Talk to yeah, me, Kurt. And I'm going to hit you back with yeah. it, Schnurt. 
What the hell, life. man? What are your thoughts when you see folks passing all the time in this game? Man, listen, I, I said a long time ago, and I was like, you know, when I was first jumping out there with, you know, the movie thing, the rap thing, whichever one came. Yeah. And I was hearing so much shit here, hearing so much shit there, folk giving me info. You know, I'm getting info. That's right. Shit while I'm out there in that world. Facts. I'm going from city to city, state to state for the first time in my life. Yeah. By my goddamn self. Yeah. Not with no crew of folk or what, not with no advisor or the folk <laughs> tell you, oh, this is what you need to do. You know, Come on. Person, none of that. So I'm learning as I'm going. I'm seeing so much other shit with other people in other situations, like, damn, that's how they treating them boys. Ain't no way in there. Don't even talk to me like that. Yeah. You know, that was their business or whatever. <laughs> they move on, boom. Uh, we get to other spots and there's certain shit going on. I'm like, I don't agree to this shit now, but I don't condone it, but I ain't, it ain't my business. I can't say that about it. Yeah. I'm with these people who I'm with. They ain't never tried me like that, so shit we mobbing. Yeah. These folks is different other uh, cliques and crews and, you know, just gangs of niggas who hang together, but it was always like that one nigga who like, God damn it, E.F. Hudden. He taught everybody this. Come on. Ain't no way in there, man, about to get mine and buy the attention for nothing. You Come know what on. I mean? And I ain't finna, just because the nigga got money, you know, follow his rules or, you know, just, you know, just be held along with no some buzz. Yeah, yeah. no, nah, yeah, nah. And this nigga younger than me, let me Come remind on. you. Uh, <laughs> ain't no way in there, be hot. You know, and I was, you. Uh, you know, you know, in our world back in our, you know, what I mean? you got to be our age, exactly. Know this type of shit, but no. So you know, it was like, hey man, with the industry shit, I want to treat motherfuckers how I want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, hey, I want everybody get they felt share of anything if it go down because you know you're gonna always have that one person somewhere, but they cheating you, they tricking you. Just check on it. Yeah. And soon they check on it if it's real, boom, boom. But if it's not, uh. You know what I mean? Come on now. Yeah, straight up. And, you know, there's a lot of tricky ways that, you know, they doing that money shit with money you don't even know about. Yeah. You know what I mean? They done made a deal, got them in Switzerland. <laughs> some you know what I mean? Oh, just one deal. Come they on. They just took it. They no deal with for and it's booming. You don't get nailed down out of that. But you ain't even know about it. Come on. Doesn't matter, he's on him that Jake Switzerland. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you number one at the top of the charts. At Switzerland. Yeah, yeah, yeah know. Your thoughts about this hip hop game? <laughs> Being dangerous out here and crazy in these streets, man. Right. What are your thoughts before getting into it? And then how do you separate the streets from hip hop? Okay, I had learned to separate the streets from the hip hop because I'm like, you <clears throat> know, I come from the streets. That's right. I'm from Perry Home. Come on now. I'm saying my daddy, he from Bone Home, so. Yes, sir. I'm definitely in the streets for real, but you know what I'm saying? Okay, I always, I always use a slogan called, like, West Side Raised Me, Zone 3 Made Me. Ooh. So, Gary, everybody say, like, why you can go everywhere you can go? Because I never made my fake card bad nowhere. Yeah. I'm from the West Side, and I went to school in Zone 3, South Atlanta. Okay, you exactly, yeah. know what I'm saying? So, that's yeah. how I'm fed with Jerome Bus South, Kent Tatum, Jewel, man, you know, know yeah. what I'm saying? I been I been over the killer from Jerome West Side, know what I'm saying? These my people for real. So like the West Side, know what I'm saying? I'm from the West Side, so it's on my home and everything. So like exactly. I'm from Perry Home, which was Punta Rosa and, and, and Carrie Drive. Mm -hmm. You know, Fable from the Clarissa side. Mm. So they just hang my big brother, so it, it go deeper than that. But but the question you asked, know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> like no, I'm getting to it though, know what I'm saying? Uh, which I just, I just, I just, I just say how people wait, man. Cause you know what I'm saying? Cause you can, you can get to something like Kirk was saying. You can get to us caught up in something you don't get caught up in. That's right. You could be cool with that person over here. Mm -hmm. You cool with that person there. They could be beefing and get away. They expect you to just jump in their beef. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I grew up with all y'all. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I get, I get a lot of my knowledge from Good Game Auntie. Like, I, I really go on her page. Like, I be trying to figure out how to stop violence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, me personally, I came up being violent. So I'm like, how can we stop the violence? Yeah. So I can go to her page. I be looking at stuff like, the bad way to try to stop it is try to stay away from it or, or talk their parents, talk their parents. Like, we cool with everybody. It's, you know, Atlanta's at one big circle. That's right. So, like, everybody cool with everybody. Everybody know everybody. So, they expect you to side with somebody just because they feel like, oh, you for be cool with me. Nah, man, you don't for to go like that. We all family. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that the outside of country, the state plan now, I'm with, I'm with it, but I'm not with it, but I'm, I'm still with it. Do, do that make sense? I'm with you. But we, the, the inner city, why we can't come together? It's easy. You know what I'm saying? Kurt. What we working on, boss? Cause see, I know that snow never stops snowing in the bluff, but man. But never, I'm talking about it. Ever, I'm talking about it's like it's 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 like a. Let me see, how can I put it? It's like a cycle. Mm -hmm. 
something that goes on and on and on that never stops. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, unless you separate yourself from it, mm -hmm. you gonna always be a part of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't that easy to separate yourself that from it. You know, if you have been that deep, I'm talking about to uh, woo wee some years where you ain't left this spot, not even to go, goddamn it, downtown. Yeah, That's four five streets over, not even to get Come on. to go to Lennox. Come on, goddamn, you know I mean? a little something up the I'm street. Yeah, it. you ain't left this neighborhood from these streets in like two three years for real. Yeah, all you know the corner store, uh, handle that business right back there. Oh, boom. <laughs> Might hit the West End, you yeah. know, or uh, Blim. Like now, anything you can buy at the mall, anything you can buy anywhere, it's going to come through that hood. Facts. It's going to come through. You just got to wait. Kurt, what you working on though now, man? Because I know you got something else up your sleeve as far as the content is concerned. I was just talking to Thomas via Chris earlier. Yeah. And I was explaining to him, I said, hey, man, one of the biggest interviews I ever did in my life was with Curtis Snow. Okay. Damn near at a million now. That's the fan base you got out here in these streets. Yeah, and they, 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 majority of them, I got to speak for them, they loyal. Talk to me. They loyal. They don't just dip in and dip out. Come on. They hang around. You Ooh. know, you got them ones who dip in, see what you got going, and dip out. <laughs> you, know I mean? you know what I'm talking about. I'm with you. And you got them ones who hang in there with you. They riding with Straight it. Straight up. You know what I mean? What you coming with? And then how that merch doing too, man? And where can I get oh, my man. shirts? You left some stuff up here the other day, man. And these folks ran out my studio with every goddamn right. thing. Merch is doing lovely, <laughs> you man. You feel me, Snurk? Yeah. Merch doing lovely, man. But it's like in other cities, in other spots. Yeah. But, you know, we'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. That's the money. Come on. You know, a couple people, you know, fuck with me on that too. But other places. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. Yeah, That's how it be, they say, you know, some African outskirts fuck with me before the inskirt. Facts. When it's Facts. like, damn, you can't get down, you know, if, if my shit sitting right there next to a motherfucker you don't know, yeah. but they got a popular name or they got, you know, something going on. Yeah. And me and you went to school together, man. You know what I'm trying to do right now. I need All this one right. to get down. And you still get one of here. Come on, man. Come on, man. Yeah. You know, come on, down. man. What, 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 you, what you hate me or what you, you know, you couldn't even buy my shirt. Come on. And it's nice, you know, this ain't no bullshit. It's the, you know, same setup. Nigga, sit right there and why I don't see it done. Yeah. yeah. Like, damn, these was your folk, man. You know, just grab one of here to show the love, show the support. Come on. Niggas won't even do that no more. <sighs> yeah. So talk to really? me about this though, Kurt. Maintaining we kind of slick coming out of this whole COVID stuff, man. Yeah, it's talk to me. How you living over there? Okay, see, right now, our main focus, you know, is with the weed thing. Yeah. You know, we still got that connect. So uh, I, I switched it up, you know, and we're going for the medical side of it. That's <clears> right. Because <throat> I don't know if you've seen it, but a couple of years ago, they had them children in wheelchairs up there, man. They refusing them folk to say, uh, try this. They know it worked. Exactly. They conjured them with that, oh, no, you know, you know, put some kind of loop in it. Yeah. I was like, okay, man, hey, man, these children, some I heard, man, they need that shit. Exactly. You know what I mean? For a nigga just sitting up smoking one all day, every goddamn day. You know what I mean? Come yeah. on now. Yeah. And the E folk, you know, it's real medication. You know yeah. what I mean? For the E folk. So, yeah, we switched it up. So, I'm, I'm, I'm headed for that side of it, you know, mm -hmm. to try to get them think of something, you know, to try to relieve E folk pain with it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the amount of THC ain't got to just be that high to where they get high. Out of their mind. Yeah. Exactly. It, 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 it's going to fix whatever, you know what I mean? It's wrong. Issue, you know, yeah. a hippie, yeah. you know, some kind of way. But we still got, you know, for the recreational smokers, uh, they still ready. You Come on. I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we just working that slowly. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we got a lot of folk, you know, who fucking with us on the back end. And uh, there's a lot of upcoming, you know, uh, people who getting in the game with the weed thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm talking about for real. But it's like, it's like, like Boosie said, it's like, how can you be right here to make a lot of money off weed and then skip right there and get a lot of time Ooh. for selling the weed? Yeah, you know I mean, another city of state. So that shit kind of crazy. Exactly. You know what I mean, is, is they setting you up for the, you know, the catch or the kill? But you know, hey, uh, you just never know, man. What was it like for you being able to get on the legal side of it, though, Kurt? Oh man, it was so easy to have. Like this shit can't be this easy. <laughs> just straight up. I'm with you. Know, you know, after I looked at my background, seeing what I had going on, okay, these many years ago. 
Yeah. After me right there in front of them, the board committee folk telling them for, hey man, my life changed. Matter of fact, I don't even smoke weed. Come on. Um, yeah, I mean, boom, boom, boom. yeah. They look dead at me knowing I'm happy. Like, yeah, you know I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I got the suit on. You know, we we, we did our thing. So Came correct. Like, yes, indeed. Yeah. So they like, uh, well, you know. You know, and then I, you know, out the room, hit them with, you know what I mean? We're trying to save lives with this shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just use for one thing. And I quote, I said a long time ago, drugs are bad, but God damn it, hey, some good come out of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. <laughs> pay attention. <laughs> but yeah, man, you know, it's like, boom, I convinced them folks, you know, that, uh, hey, man, I'm really on, you know, a mission to try to goddamn see, you know, where can we make the good side of this shit? Because all they got the bad side of it. And you know, Snoop Dogg side of it. Yeah. I mean, she, she, she <laughs> you know what I mean? Motherfucker 15 years old, 14 years old, that's the first thing they thinking. You know what yeah. I mean? They smoke some weed, but not knowing that that shit is a real gateway drug. And yeah. it's a depression drug. You know what I'm saying? Right. But they got to figure that out. You know what I'm saying? Think about it. When drugs first hit for anywhere, they were fun. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. Once that fun went away, it got so depressing. Yeah. Now you think, no, what the fuck am I doing this shit for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting broke, goddamn. Yeah. They done took the flavor out of us. Man, this shit's so weak. So, well, uh, it ain't getting me where I'm trying to be no more. Uh, man, please. Yeah. It's either going to but fuck it and switch to something else or say fuck it all around. Yeah. Or either going to catch up with that bad pack and you out of here. You know what I mean? Exactly. That, that's just how it's going now. My God. That's just how it's going in a nutshell. And it's fucked up that it's like that. But hey. That's the way love goes. Yeah. What stories we telling now, though, Kurt? Moving forward with the Bluff series, man. Well, we about to take this thing. What else do these folks need to know and understand out here? We got a couple more. We got like 90 more hours Ooh. of never before seen footage. What? And, you know, a lot of the shit was goddamn graphic. A lot of the shit was, you know what I mean, really taking you there, putting you right Wait, there. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You talking about 90 hours? You talking about from the original? No, this is something that in between time that I okay. just was hitting here, hitting there, taking yeah. pieces here, taking pieces there. But as I do my thing, that right there, that we didn't use, it piled up. That we did, it piled up. Yeah, this shit done piled up 90 hours. Damn. So now we working, you know, to put something together. Yeah. Like, bling, 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 out. Bling, 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 out. You know, it's old footage. Yeah. But it's never before seen. Exactly. And it's real and raw. They know, <laughs> God damn it, what's going on, because they know how I do it. Yeah. And you know, it, it took me a long time to be like, man, you know, let's try to put that out. But you know, it was certain shit I had to see and research shit. Man, they showing shit now. They got damn it, you know, you walk in, your five year old son move the phone back. Like, damn, you looking at? You know what I mean? So, boy, they showing shit now. So, well, hey, if I can squeeze a good word in now, let them know, hey, man, you know, uh, it's, it's it's it ain't all bad, yeah. you know. It is some good people still out here. Yeah. Everybody ain't just with the bullshit. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. And my book, you know, the whole while, the first book was 2013. Yeah. You know, I never did a book signing nowhere in the world. Yeah. Not even in Atlanta, nowhere. Just Dang, a real bro. book signing. Yeah. Where, you know, you motherfucker come down. I never did once. Yeah. So now I got a little move with a school. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And my people turned me on to. Yeah. And God damn it, uh, that's how we were going to try them with that, you know what I mean? Because the book is a message. Exactly. And I feel like the book should be in the library at a school because that right there is more of a, you know, a 12-step program book <laughs> than they can teach you, you know what I mean? <laughs> you read this book, God damn it, and follow my lead from shit I went through and take heed to what I'm saying, you know what I mean, or whatever. Uh, it'll be nice and smoother and way more understandable. You dig know what I'm saying? Answer me this, Kurt, with you being in the better of the beast, man, and then also one of the first people to go crazy on the streaming side of content. You see what I'm saying? What was it that you learned being in that mix with your Netflixes and all of this different stuff and then also amassing this huge-ass fan base that's ridiculous out here? That the first thing I learned that they were telling me half of what was going on yeah, and showing me half of what the numbers looked they like. Ah, uh, they looked the good, nice. So I'm like, ooh, boy, yeah, that's nice. Boy, we way further than that. Yeah, it took, uh, 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 you know, a little rabbit somewhere. <laughs> like, Switzerland. Yeah, <laughs> hey, just look. Yeah, you know I mean, nigga, looking like what? Now come on, now these folks for to be fam out of the money after they get there, they get there, they get deals, and 
whatever left for me to get. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, Jay, go on and give me that. Yeah. They're going to take something out of that, too, and then give me the rest of that and say, well, now you know that everybody got to come in at the rain and put their little people back together. Want something out of that when that one ain't that. Damn. And I do like, now, they just too greed. Yeah. And, you know, it's really like, you know, the people can't see me, man. Yeah. You know I mean, once I realized that, you know how on all them old school goddamn well, mm -hmm. and they bought out, hey, man, the folk want to see goddamn it. <laughs> I'm the master. Uh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, you talking about, <laughs> and when they bought it down, <laughs> who was making this shit happen? Come on. Yeah, you know I mean? Yeah. So, it's like, goddamn. Since that time, Kurt, what has it been like for you still maneuvering? And still making it do what it's supposed to. Perfect, because the blessing came with it. Like, yeah. the motherfucker try to ruin you or something like that. Yeah. There's always an opportunity for something <laughs> that happened, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And lately, I just be getting calls from motherfuckers all over the world. Hey, uh, how much you charge to? Uh, blim, blim, blim. Oh, man, we got you. Baby, uh, talk to my people. But that deal goes down. Uh, people call them, uh, I want you to uh, be on my uh, podcast and real estate. Where you located? Uh, Bloom Road, I'm here. Uh, yeah, I'm in a basement down on uh, Jefferson. Uh, okay, she's going down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, opportunities exactly. like that. Kind of, you know, just here and there. Been working with them and got them, you know, keeping it flowing. Yeah. My, yeah, you right. know, projects and shit that I got in my head that I do on the side. Yeah, you know I mean, I make sure they done. Yeah, you know I mean, so got them. The people you know, oh, man, I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. About everything that we doing, we multitasking. What all do we got coming up next, fellas? What do we need to be looking out for, man? Uh, well, actually, oh, I got a song called "Keep It a Brick." Talk you know to what me. I'm saying? That we pushing Keep right it a now. Uh, produced by. Uh, a song produced by uh, producer Jay, Jay from So So Def. Mm -hmm. And um, next we got coming up, uh, My Dime Be Dance Like Mike, featuring, featuring Curtis Snow. That's hard. hard I like that. We, we play a snippet. Yeah, the remix. Yeah. The remix. We remix. Fabo finna get on. You know what I'm oh, they're going to be crazy. What up, yeah, no, Fabo? Yeah. yeah. We're having a Fabo, man. Appreciate it out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We finna, uh, we finna go up with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I, I just been saying so humble the whole time. Like, I always just stay humble, so you see, see the whole time, like, people, like, are on the estimate you. Yeah. And they feel like, man, he's just been doing this two, three years or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. sometimes that might be the person that can guide you. Yeah. And I was always trying to rush it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, I got all these connects, I can go and do this, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, but it, all my success came through Curse, though. Yeah. I try to explain it to people. People call on my phone, like, what's your secret of? I don't know. This secret we did right here, I just, I just said, I'm gonna do this rap. Like yeah. I did, and I stayed down, and I put in the footwork. You know what I'm saying? Because the footwork is everything. Anybody can jump on the track and just hit and just rap. Exactly. And then, then put your footwork in. it been plenty of nights I just rode by myself in the car. Like, I might hear somebody just say, Open mic at the club. I'm by myself. Give me. I don't call nobody. Er, I'm putting all by myself. Come on. I perform six, seven days a week. Whew. I like I, I, I go to work. Yeah. Working on calls. Yeah. Get up there day. I'm gonna perform. Anybody got something going on in the club? I'm Come gonna on. perform. So I was networking the whole time. Yeah. After he gave me, gave me my knowledge and my fame, you know what I'm saying? Cause he the first person gave me my, my real fame, you know what I'm saying? That's right. When he told me, you my artist inside me, like that was it. That was just it right there. Like, boom, I went up with it. How you feel being able to put folks on though, Kurt? To be able to show that love, man, and extend that olive branch to help another brother go and achieve his dreams too, man. When I look him in the eye, be high. Yeah. And I ask him, <laughs> is you ready, man? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about debt for real. Debt for real. Because this shit could change your life. Come on. In a matter of days, god damn it. You'll be a whole nother different person. People treat you different, look at you different, all that. You got to be able to handle that. Yeah. Your scrutiny comes with it too. Nigga might walk up and say, fuck you. Uh, you <laughs> know what I mean? Anything to got them fuck with you. But see, uh, I, you know what I mean? Snurt, I need you to really hear what that man saying. Yeah. Because that man really been through it. Yeah, you this know. shit changes. Yeah, when your life changed from being regular Curtis Snow running around in the bluff to okay, I, you know I'm on Butter ATL the other day and I see a post where they got a whole placard in the bluff talking about the home yeah. of the great Curtis fraud. Snow. That's a fraud. They had people thinking <laughs> that that was real. Motherfucker riding around looking the whole, for it, looking for it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I had to go on there and tell somebody, folks, hey, uh, that's Photoshop. It's what nice are they going to do us like that, Kurt? <laughs> yeah, it's nice, they made me, they just made me feel damn. warm on the inside. But yeah, what? <laughs> I let it cry. It brought tears to my eyes like a beauty patch. <laughs> when I first seen that shit, I yeah. said, hell no. 
We jumped straight in the car, nigga, like this. We can find this motherfucker. Hey, take some picture of that. I would have had, Joe. Oh. And stop it, motherfucker. Hey, man, where the house is? But you still felt the love through yeah, that post, did. though. So yeah, how did, did that feel just still seeing that love being you know, real out here, man? We went on with it, and then somebody hit me with it and say, shit, you might need to throw it in your NFT move. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, when they said that, I stopped for a minute. Whew. You know what I mean? That's something to think about. Talk to me. What you know about the NFT, Kurt? What's happening? Hey, it's for real. For it's real. For real. It's not a fraud. Oh my God. Yeah, we had to talk off the record. Yeah. But it's not a fraud. Okay. You know how our culture is. And the thing, boy, I put my name on it. <laughs> boy, we ain't no bank account no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In real life. I can dig it. I can dig it. Lastly, fellas, how can these folks contact y'all? Anything y'all need to get off y'all chest, man? Let them folks know, man. Oh, yeah. Follow me on on the score, one snook on the ground. That on the score, number one. S N U R K, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm signed to the legendary Curtis Snow. Facts. So, hey. And that's when you hear all the music? All my music, you can hear all my music coming soon to what all the platforms. Videos? Let them know where they can go find you. Go to YouTube right now. Uh, my first video I ever got a chance to drop is Keep It a Brick because I, I was just going to do so much. It's like, so many folks hang on me. Like, I was like, I want to see everybody win. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just want to see everybody win. And I, I push people for me. I said, go for me because I felt like, Whoever go first, whoever go first, we a real team, right? We gonna win. So I never understood, like, by me just coming in the game trying to rap, yeah. by me having this type of tat I never never thought I had in me, Yeah, it's just like, it kind of disappointed me a lot of people, but mm. I understand though they, they will come with the business. Yeah. So now I see. So I got a lot of hours on the table, but I'm Snow ENT forever. Snow money, me ENT forever. I ain't going nowhere. I came in with him. I'm going out with him, period. I don't care about your money. I don't care about none of that. I care about lost respect, for real. Big old fast. How I go, Jones? You didn't hear Kurt. How can they contact you? What you got to say? Hey, man. I'm real Curry Snow. You know what I mean? Uh, and like I say, we got uh, we got the container homes coming. Ooh. You did what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we got like a couple of acres of land in different, you know, locations. And, uh, you know, we're going to spice it up. Let these folks know, man. You know, you can have your own house. I'm talking about for the fraction of a cost, you know, of all the wood and all the steel of, to build a house. You yes, know what I'm saying? And man, you know, hey, we just, you know, trying to do something different, man. Stay in the loop, but we still let these folk know, man, for our people, it was a way, you know what I mean? Exactly. Just like they got their way, it's another way for us. You yeah, got to know right. everything ain't no scam. Straight up. Snurk. Yeah. Be how I'm in the building. Uh, shout out to uh, Rock with the ENT. Side of the Tumbleville Zone Three, side side of Curtis Snow, my man's for L for life. Who on signed to the legend? Side of the Jewel, man. Side of Good Game, Auntie. Side of the whole Zone Three. Side to the whole West Side, man. Just shout out to all my followers. Shout out to my haters for number one. I think <laughs> Big y'all up. first. Yes, <laughs> Keep yes, on following me. I will not block none of y'all because y'all really make me make hits. Come that on way. now. That way. Be high radio, shouted, Snurk, Kurt. We out of this thing. Holla y'all in a minute, man. We gone.